The first interaction design principle that I'm going to talk about is feedback. Feedback are the elements of an interactive system that return information about the progress of the interaction to the user. This can take many forms, it can be audio, visual, verbal, tactile, and is often best when it combines several of those forms. So if you think about musical instruments, for example, a keyboard has the obvious feedback of creating music or sound when you push the keys down. But it also has another subtle form of feedback, which is the weight of the keys. We can also say the pressure or force that the person has to exert onto the keys to make them play is also a form of feedback, right? Because I can hit the keys hard to make a loud note or soft to make a quiet note. That's also why with uh, electronic keyboards, the weight of the keys is an important feature that often separates the high-end keyboards from the low-end ones. The low-end keyboards have sort of flimsy plastic keys, but the high-end ones will have the same weight as a piano, traditional uh, acoustic piano, so that you can go back and forth between the instruments without feeling like uh, your fingers are different from one interface to the next. The good example of this is the theremin, which is the uh, interesting antenna instrument from the 1960s that was famously used by the Beach Boys to make the sound in a lot of sci-fi movies use it as well, but there's only ever been one virtuoso thereminist because it lacks tactile feedback. All other musical instruments have some kind of tactile feedback. The theremin did not, and it made it very hard to actually learn how to play and then master. So it's good to have multiple forms of feedback in an interface design. The other thing feedback is good for is letting users know that their action had consequences. Right? If you can imagine playing a piano that had a five second delay from when you pressed the key to when you heard the note, it would be impossible. You'd never be able to play that piano. The feedback has to be instantaneous for people to know that the system has worked and also for them to be able to then use the tool to produce new things, particularly when it's like a tool for music or a tool for art production. As an example of an interesting interactive feedback system, I'd like to show you this project from the MIT Media Lab. Here's the link.